and her house, yes. you are no good bum. That's right. Amen. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's right. And you're on your way to hell. Amen. 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 Infidels. Amen. If you are a preacher, Amen. you are a child of the devil. That's Amen. right. That's it. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? But That's if right. any provide not, the only ones that get upset are devils. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Listen at this. First Timothy chapter five and at verse eight. What That's is it? it? But if any provide ahead, not Bob. for Go his ahead. own, if a man don't provide for his own, own. and especially, especially for those of his own house, how in the world are you gonna do something for some other woman or her kids? Amen. Amen. And you can't take care of your own. Your own. Amen. You got so much money to give another woman or yeah. her kids. Right. Pass them up. That's Amen. right. Take care of your own. Amen. That's right. Talk to me, men. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Go ahead, wonderful. Amen. Amen. Speaking in tongue, bums. Bums. Running around the church, <laughs> a right. bum. Bums. That's right. Bums. That's a a bum talking about he loved Jesus. That's My right. Lord. You don't want to take care of no babies. That's it. Keep your anatomy in your drawers. Amen. That's right. Amen. Am I right? Go ahead, Amen. brother. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good teaching. Brother. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good teaching. You can't buy a roll of toilet paper. Amen. Why you want to make babies? That's, That's right. Amen. You ain't got a pot to go to the bathroom in. Amen. Why you want to make babies? Go ahead. That's it, sir. Pull your pants up. Go ahead. Tighten your belt. Tighten your belt. Preach it, brother. Sir. That's it, sir. Go Wonderful, sir. Go ahead, Father. Preach it. Preach it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, sir. You young men, Amen. stop Amen. making babies. Amen. You young girls, Amen. stop being naive victims. Amen. Amen. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Giving up your virginity to every two-legged dog Amen. that's in the streets of America. Amen. Love yourself. Amen. Amen. Self-respect, sir. Wonderful, sir. Beautiful. Right. Amen. Wonderful. And because we preach this, Amen. they say I'm a cult leader. <laughs> Foolish. My Lord. Well, Amen. if this will make us a cult, this is a good cult. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish Go seven ahead. chapter of Romans real quick. Come on, son. Back in Romans se chapter seven. Everybody verse all right? Two. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Come on, son. For the woman which has an husband is bound by the law to her husband. So long as he live it. Yes. But if the husband be dead, if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then if, while the husband liveth, she be married to another man, what is she called? She shall be called an adulteress. Hmm. But if her husband be dead, if her husband be dead, she not is dying. Dead. Mm -hmm. I don't want his way out. That's right. Out. 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 If the husband be dead, she is free from that law. So that she is no adulteress. Though she be married to another man. All right, we got that straightened out. Amen. Next Amen. letter. Come on, Dan. Bir Birmingham, Alabama. All this, right, Birmingham. This person says, I do not understand your comments on tongues in your question and answer section. She's referring to the website. All right. You state in your comments, and I read that there are three different tongues in the Bible. New tongues, unknown tongues, and other tongues. What is a new tongue? What is an unknown tongue? What is another tongue? What is the biblical reference when speaking in, in tongues, she says. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Again, All right, let Birmingham, me assist you help you out. Alabama. It isn't that it's three different tongues. It's the same tongue, Amen. but have three different titles. That's Amen. Right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Same tongue, three different titles. First in the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and at verse 11. Listen, let me educate you and send you on your way. Amen. Oh, For with stammering lips. With a stammering lip. And another tongue. And another tongue. Will he speak to this people? All right. And you in got the, the term another tongue. Another tongue. Amen. All right. Now in the book of St. Uh, Saint Mark, chapter 16, and at verse 17. Mark 16 and 17 says, These signs shall follow them that believe. What happened? In my name shall they cast out devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. Now you have new tongue. New tongues. Another tongue. New tongue. New tongues. All right. Now in the book of Acts chapter 2 and at verse 4. Yes. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And what? And, and began to speak with other tongues. Other tongues. As the Spirit gave them mother. New tongues. Amen. Let's get one more. The unknown. unknown. Amen. If any man now, speak. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and at verse 2. Yes. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Speaketh not unto men but, but unto God. All right. 
New tongue. New tongue. Mm-hmm. Other tongue. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Same thing. Same thing. That's right. Wonderful. See, when you receive the Holy Ghost, right. you speak in another tongue. Another That's tongue. right. It's a language that differ from your everyday language. That's why it's called another tongue. That's right. It's called new tongue because it's new to you. You never spoke it before. That's right. It's called unknown tongue because you don't know what you're saying. How be it in the spirit, you speak mysteries. When it ceases to be unknown is when God gives you or someone else the ability to interpret. And the unknown become known. That's right. Wonderful. Are you listening? That's it. Same time. That's it. Now, mm-hmm. let me give you a broader understanding also Take your time, of tongue. Wonderful, sir. Tongue of the learning, sir. The scriptures. Yes, sir. Wonderful. It's a book of tongue. Yes, it That's is. Right. Take That's time. Take right. Wonderful. That's right. Go ahead. It is the language yes, sir. Of, God. of God. That's, That's right. it. If, I, if this is the first time I'm hearing it, mm-hmm. it's a new tongue. New right. tongue. Because I never heard this type of language called holiness before. Never heard one God. Never heard repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Never heard you got to live holy. That's a new tongue. It's also another tongue because it contradicts everything that I've been taught. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. It's also a unknown tongue unknown. because that type of preaching is foreign to me that's right but when the preacher that's made by hands of heaven interprets the that's tongue it. That's that's it. It. don't you hear the bible say if there be an interpreter, interpreter. among one. you that's right. among. how many lord one, one, one. one. one among, among a thousand, thousand. Among a thousand. One. Yeah. Yeah. what purpose lord right. the show man right. uprightness sir. wonderful His uprightness wonderful sir go ahead Pastor. i'm speaking in tongue right now that's, that's it right. that's it i'm bringing you the language of god, god. That's, that's right to you that never heard it amen it's a new tongue to you wonderful that's to it to you that been taught three gods yep. And we bring you one, yeah. we're coming in another tongue. Amen. Yes. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Tell you that's Amen. praying to Mary. That's it. And we come telling you, Mary not in heaven. That's yeah. it. To, to you. Unknown tongue. That's an unknown tongue. Unknown that's tongue. Right. Meaning an unknown teaching. So what's he right. saying? An unknown it. doctrine. That's right, that's right. So now your tongue mm-hmm. have to now learn the language of God. Amen. You first got to learn how to count. That's right. That's it, sir. God want to teach you how to count. That's right. Because you've been you you've been multiplying, you've been adding, you've been subtracting. So God come along, one Lord. One Lord. And I want to make sure they get it. So I want to only tell them one Lord. I let them know how many beliefs. One One faith. faith. One. Being that there's so many people coming along baptizing, I let them know how many is that. One One baptism. baptism. That's right. One doctrine. That's right. right. One way. Sir. Being that men is going around yeah. starting churches, uh, uh-huh. I let them know how many is of that. That's right. One body. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. One people. Amen. That's it. Amen. Everything. Hallelujah. Wonderful, when it sir. points to God, one. 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 One, one church. One. One belief. Yeah. One standard. That's right. One Holy Ghost. That's right. One doctrine. One. Right. One truth. One, truth. one way. Yes, sir. One people. That's right, sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. sir. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. You see, God make a quilt. Mm-hmm. You and them old mothers make a quilt. Mm-hmm. They get material from here, material from there, uh-huh. make one quilt. Yeah. That's the way the church is. That's right. That's right. Get that white brother, mm-hmm. that black brother, yeah. that yellow brother, yeah. that brown brother, all different colors. Oh, amen. That, that, that that's what Joseph coat right. represented. That's that's right. Right. Many didn't see that. Many he had a coat. Multi- of many, many colors, colors. Yeah. Wonderful colors. representing wonderful. all nations yes, that's, right. that's going to be connected to that's Israel. That's yeah. There are two houses two house of, Israel. of Israel. Wonderful. Huh? Amen. Some say I thought it was one house. Oh, wow. no. Two Give me the eighth chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah. There Amen. are two houses, two houses right. of Israel. That's right. There's a natural house Amen. and there's a spiritual, spiritual house. That's right. Huh? Isaiah chapter 8 and at verse 14. Listen. And he shall be for a sanctuary. He, he who? God. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. God shall be for what? For a sanctuary. He didn't mean he's a hiding place. That's right. Huh? But for a stone of stumbling. God is a hiding place. That's, That's right. right. He's a place of refuge. Wonderful, Amen. And when you don't want to obey him, he'll turn on you. That's right. He'll become what? But he shall be for a stone of stumbling. A stone of stumbling. And for a rock of offense. And a rock of offense to who? To both the houses of Israel. To who? Both the houses of Israel. 
to hold both the houses of Israel. That's right. Both. Both. Two. Both. God houses. saw two houses right. coming out of Abraham. Amen. That's right. Amen. When he established the law of circumcision. That's right. That's right. He yeah. put the law down. That's right. Everybody Go ahead, Pops. Go ahead. of your kin Amen. that come in your house circumcised. Circumcised. must be circumcised. circumcised. Then he says, even stranger. the stranger. stranger. stranger what do you mean the stranger? The Gentile. That's right. Amen. Them that's not connected to your seed. That's, that's right. right. See, Abraham, there's two houses that come from him. That's right. Israel by blood right. That's right. and Israel that's by right. faith. That's right. We are Abraham's seed that's right. by that's faith. faith. That's right. The ones that's connected yep. to Abraham mm -hmm. by blood. Mm -hmm. Eight days after birth, mm -hmm. the male child mm -hmm. is circumcised that's right, sir. by ahead, blood. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Thank God that's for it. them that's connected to Abraham by faith. By faith. By faith. Oh. I don't care how many days pass. That's, that's right, sir. Circumcision now. Heart, that's sir. right. Go right to the heart. To the heart. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Cutting away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The foreskin of the that's heart. Right, that's right, sir. Then you cry out. That's right. Abba, Abba Father. Father. That's right, sir. Ah! Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Oh, Hallelujah. That's you all right. Get what I'm talking? Amen. What did he say? Wonderful. And he shall be for a sanctuary. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He shall be for a sanctuary. Wonderful. But for a stone of stumbling. And for a rock of offense. To who? To both the houses of Israel. Say God Hallelujah to today. both the houses of Israel for a gin, for a gin and for and a, a snare, snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And what are you going to do to them? And many among them shall stumble mm. and fall and be broken and be snared yeah. and be taken. Don't you hear the Apostle Paul says how the Jews stumble? That's stumble. right. That's at the word, stumble, sir. And they'll open up the passageway Amen. for, That's the, right. for the Gentiles yes, to come Wonderful, in. Sir. That's Wonderful. right. I think you're looking at a bunch Wonderful. of Gentiles now right. Amen. that right came now. in, repenting of our sins. That's right. Went Amen. down in water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank God, even when the apostle was preaching the word, right. the Holy Ghost That's fell right. on the Italian. That's right. right. The Gentile. That's, That's right. right. While Peter yet speaks the word. Speak the word. Hallelujah. The word. Hallelujah. Right. The word. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Ghost fell, sir. What do you mean? God, God fell. God. That's right. God came down, sir. Right. Wonderful, sir. Viewer, Amen. you need God to fall down in your life. That's Amen. Fall Amen. upon you. That's, That's right, sir. Change your language. That's, That's right, sir. Right. You Amen. see, if you had the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you will consider Amen. what holiness is teaching. That's, That's right. right. And you will find that Holy Ghost mm -hmm. more, it will evolve. That's yeah. right, sir. It will evolve in you Amen. while you evolve That's in it. it. That's, That's right. right. Before That's right. Me, sir. If you had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. That's it. What make people fight is because they don't understand. That's it. The Holy Ghost said, consider, consider what, I said. what I said. That's right. Don't that's fight it. That's right. You walk consider. around speaking in tongues. All right. right. Consider. Consider. Consider what I said. Consider what we tell you. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. Huh? Don't, Wonderful. don't reject it. No, it. Ignore your bishop. That's it. Sir. Let your eyes yeah. zoom on the Bible. Yeah, that's, that's it. Huh? That's Amen. it. When you go to your bishop Amen. and your bishop say, well, you ain't got to worry about that. Ah, no, 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 no. Amen. Let your eyes. Yes, sir. Go to the chief shepherd. That's right. And the bishop of our souls. Of our souls. You get what I'm telling you? That's Amen. Right. Come on, Dan, the man. Amen. Let's have it. This letter comes from Ajax, Ontario, in Canada. All right. Pastor Jennings, I have been watching your program consistently, learning many things concerning the Word of God and how we are supposed to walk. I was baptized in the name of Jesus, baptized in the name of the Father, she says, Son, and Holy Ghost, yes. when I was 17 years old. All right. However, I desire to be baptized again in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. I believe that this is the right way of being baptized and receiving salvation. It is the right way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also desire to be baptized by your ministry because that program has been instrumental in reprogramming, in reprogramming, she says, the knowledge that I have of the scriptures and also has guided me out to the right way of being saved. Wonderful. You are an anointed instrument of God. Thank God for that. And I encourage you to continue in the work that is ahead of you. All right. I would love to visit your church when I am in the area. I have family living in Trenton, New Jersey. One day soon I will come to visit your church and hopefully have the church to thank you face to face. Peace be unto you, Pastor Jennings. He says, peace be. I called last week inquiring about purchasing the Holy Scriptures. All right. Let's get one more letter. All thank right. you for that letter, Canada. One more. Uh, this comes, comes from uh, Collins Lake, New Jersey. Uh, we look forward to watching you every Sunday. You say it like it is and don't hold back. We don't go to church, but love how you speak the word of God. This person says, thank you. All right, that's enough. I want to thank all my viewers that have written in through the years. We thank yeah. God for all of you. Amen. 
This program is over the air just to help you, that's all. That's it. It's just to help you. That's it. That's all it is. We want to help you. That's it. We don't have no uh, entertainment program. No. This is not Fred Price or T.D. Jakes or Crefna or Nickel, old dollar. That's right. This is not uh, Joel Alstein, the cotton candy preacher. No. Oh, no. This is not Benny Hill or Benny Hinn. Amen. Not Hill either. Amen. <laughs> None of that. None of that. Not Peter Popoff, who sell you bottles of toilet water. That's all. Not that. That's right. We don't pay people on the side to get in wheelchairs. <laughs> here they drove the church, but they end up in a wheelchair when they get here. My Lord. We don't do that. Amen. Amen. We are trying Amen. to get you to see God That's it. and escape hell. That's it. That's it. That's why we preach so hard, viewers, and mm -hmm. you that are here. Mm -hmm. Many said, it ain't no one going to follow that strict stuff, that man preaching. Amen. There are thousands that love it. That's right. It takes the young man. That's right. You see, viewers and false prophets, you have made the mistake of thinking that everybody want this little sugar down water trash you've been preaching. Amen. Viewer, there's more to this than what you've been getting from your church. Oh, yes. If I want to be right with God, yeah, I want to grow. Right. Oh, yes. I can't grow off baby food. Yeah, no. You get at a certain time, the woman, she remove her breast from the mouth of the child. That's right. Wean them off of it. That's right. Start chewing food up. Chewing. Mm -hmm. Break it down. That's it. Then feed it to the child. That's right. Because the child yet don't have proper knowledge mm -hmm. to get those greens with a knife and cut it. Yeah. Child not ready to eat those llama beans, mm -hmm. corn on the cob, mm -hmm. sweet potatoes, yeah. zucchini, yeah. squash, yes. string beans, mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. The body is not ready for it yet. That. That's right. So the child has to gradually grow. That's right. And then when they gradually grow, then it can hold something solid. So, mm -hmm. You it. that are here, you that are watching. Amen. I want to get you off your bishop's bottle. <laughs> That's right. That's right, bro. That's right. You got your bishop's bottle. Amen. All that Kool Aid and sugar water. sugar water. That's why you so hype. That's right. You got all that sugar in you. That's right. That's right. That's why you're hype. That's why your preacher can get away and say, when I count to three, everybody's going to speak in tongue. One, two, three, and all you turkeys jump up. Amen. Their drink is sour. Do you hear? In, in, in the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and at verse 18. I want to show you what you're digesting from your bishop. Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 18. Listen. Their drink is sour. Your drink is sour. They have committed whoredom continually. Do you hear that? Amen. Now, for your child to develop correctly, mm -hmm. you want to give it wholesome milk. Wholesome. That's wholesome right. food. That's right. Clean food. Mm -hmm. You want to feed it right. Give it all the nutrients. That's right. A child of God should want to eat right. Right. That's right. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. God wants to feed you the right stuff. The right thing. Just look at the different titles mm -hmm. he give the word. Amen. He said, I am that bread. Bread from heaven. You see, your body need carbs. Yeah. God got some spiritual carbs for you. That's right. Bible says meat, meat. for the belly mm -hmm. and belly for the, the meat. meat. Naturally, your body needs protein. Go ahead, brother. God got some spiritual protein for you. That's right. Eh? That's right. God says as newborn babe desire the sincere milk, milk, milk of the word that you may grow thereby. That's it. Milk, you get calcium. Mm -hmm. God want to strengthen you with some spiritual milk which is the wisdom of God so you don't fall apart so easy That's when it. something hits you. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Go ahead. Man. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. We got a full course meal. Full course meal. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat 
eternal milk. That's right. Eternal bread. Eternal bread. Eternal meat. Amen. Go ahead, bro. That's why when he come along and multiply, multiply those fish and multiply that bread, he was letting you know I got a whole lot to give you. A whole lot. That's right. And even when you're full, there's still some left over. Oh, yes. <laughs> so he come along and said, I tell you what you do. You gather up the fragments mm -hmm. nothing that nothing be lost. Be lost. That's right. All of you in here, if you got in mind not to go to hell, you got to give up something. Oh, yes. You got to give up something. Something. That's right. It may be that crack you got to give up. Amen. That beer. Mm -hmm. You may have to give up your business. That's true. I don't say, wait a minute, Pastor Jenner, don't wait on me. If you own a club, you can't operate a club and walk with God. That's right. That's right. You can't have no woman coming down the pole in your club. <laughs> Walking. No, no. <laughs> Walking and shaking. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. You got to shut that club down, down or turn it to something that's spiritually legit. That's right. Because God says, he that gather riches, not by right, not by right die as a fool. you will die a fool. Die a fool. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Man. All right, listen to the old man. Go ahead. Go ahead. So rich to God. Amen. You got to give up something. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got to shut down your drug operation. Yeah. Oh. Gotta shut down your laboratory. That's right. You gotta shut down your prostitution ring. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. You gotta shut down your whiskey joint. That's right. Because the book says wine is a marker. Strong and strong is drink is raging. raging. He that is deceived thereby is not wise. That's right. Amen. You can't sell pants to women no more. That's right. For the Bible says a woman shall not wear that which pertains, that which unto pertains a man. to a man. That's right. That's right. If you're a man Go ahead. and got long hair, Go you got to surrender that long surrender hair. That. That's right. For God said do of not nature Go ahead. teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame it under is him. A shame shame under under him. him. God right. said it. God said it. Shame God under him. him. Well, Pastor Jennings, it don't matter how I look. Don't argue with me. Take it up with God. That's right. You're a grown man. That's right. Why you want your hair long as a woman? Amen. Amen. If you got a child, it shouldn't get you mixed up with his mama. That's right. That's right. Think of it. Go ahead, brother. Your wife is plaiting your hair. Amen. And she plaiting hers. Amen. Something wrong with that picture. That's right. Do it not even nature itself let's, teach let's, you? Let's get some Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I don't blame you if you didn't know. Right. Glory to God, but I'm going to cut your hair with scripture tonight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if there's anybody here or anybody watching. Oh, yeah. All these long-haired preachers. Preachers oh, yeah. up with ponytail. Preachers. That's right. Preachers up with earrings. That's right. These are preachers. Amen. You go to these so-called Christian concert, mm -hmm. a bunch of grown, half-naked men yeah. That's right. with bangs. That's right. Ponytails. My Lord. Men, men, men. More and more, you're picking up feminine traits. That's right. Let's come back and bear the image that God made us. That's right. That's right, brother. Go ahead, brother. Pastor Jenner, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It had, never mind you. 
Let's go back to the one that made you. First Corinthians 11 and verse 14. What is it? Doeth not even nature itself teach Doeth you? Doeth not common sense teach you? That if a man have long hair. If a man have long hair. It is a shame unto him. Yeah, you got your little son with a yeah. ponytail. He got a ponytail. Your son got him and your daughter got him. That's right. Your son wearing your daughter barrettes. <laughs> That's right. You know something is wrong? Something's wrong. The mother giving the son bangs. My Lord. Shame unto him. The mother's giving the son the same hairstyle she give her daughter. That's right. That's right. You know I'm telling the truth. That's the truth. That's what you see. Amen. There's a spirit. Amen. In the world. Yeah. And that spirit pushed the human race mm -hmm. to yeah. go opposite from God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Doeth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair. Imagine me coming in hmm. with a long plait coming down the center, center of my back like I'm a samurai warrior. <laughs> That's right. Or oh, imagine me coming in with a big afro. Big afro. Telling you we bear witness there is no God but one. You will have to look twice. Yes, you all, will. This is all holy teaching. That's right. The church you go to don't teach this. They allow you to do what you want. Amen. But when God says something, you see, this is the difference between God and man. Yeah. God has law yes. to govern the universe. That's right. God have never set a people and they're gonna let the people do what they want and then say they won't be saved Amen. they're gonna be saved no Amen. he's a god of order that's right Amen. god of order Amen. you have even if you're a barber mm -hmm. you don't give them mohican haircuts Brothers in the church don't walk around with Mohicans haircuts. That's right. When you're trying to walk with God, you ain't dying your hair. That's right. You'll be the way God made you. That's right. That's right. Real man ain't arching his eyebrows. Amen. Not a real man. Not a real man. Doesn't matter if his eyebrows are unibrow to look like his head wear a mustache. That's right. More and more, you find men becoming more and more feminine, feminine. in their decision making yeah. and in their actions. That's right. The Amen. devil is sucking the masculine out of men. Oh, yeah. And then when I preach this, these young men get upset with me. Yeah. Well, if you don't have no timid germ in you, why are you upset with me? That's right. You ain't never been a man until you obey God. That's right. Go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. Go ahead. When you begin to obey God, yeah. that's the beginning stages yeah. of a real man. A real man. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Do it not even nature itself teach you. Nature. Amen. It's self teacher That if a man have long hair. If a man have long hair. It is a shame unto him. God say he's ashamed. Shame. He's ashamed of it. That's right. Why you ain't ashamed? Mm -hmm. Why? The media is influenced our young people. Oh, yeah. You want to be like the trash you see on television. Mm -hmm. You want to be like rappers. Yeah. Male and female. That's right. You want to dance like them and shake your hips like them. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Walk around shaking your hips. Shaking your hips. <laughs> That's right. You want to go to a church where you can have wish up in one auditorium and a party in another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you want to have your praise dancing. Praise dancing. That's right. These are the type of churches you go to that you support. Amen. When God come and find here a bunch of folk up in the pulpit just dancing. Yeah. And the dance leader to my son, here we go, come on. 
Here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let me hear you say, yeah. Throw your hands in the air. It's like you don't care. Now, what you going to do? You going to go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Amen. And you call that church? That's church. Stop playing. That's right. That's right. You did that trash in your party. Amen. Amen. Look how slick the devil is. You look at the different gospel singers today. Oh, yeah. They want to keep their music R and B. Yeah. Keep it. That way you can slow drag to it and shout to it. That's right. That's right. Just throw Jesus' name in there a few times to trick you and you fall for it. Yeah. The church is now is a big party and you know it is. Oh, yeah. Turn on BET and look at them on the stage. Hey, you just that's dancing and shaking. And you sitting there in your house. <laughs> Looking dizzy. <laughs> and you got the audacity to my son. You praising the Lord? Praising the Lord. Give me Leviticus. Mm -hmm. 10 and 10. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Follow me in the Bible. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference. You see, some of you young people ain't never had no one to tell you direct. That's why it's hard for you to swallow. You see, your preacher, this is what you're used to. That's right. This type of preaching. We take it right to you. Take it right to you. Make a real man, real woman out of you. That's right. That's right. Oh, yes. Amen. We want to shut the devil churches down. That's right. That's right. We want to put them all out of business. Out of business. Amen. I want to say to every viewer that love holiness for real. Boycott every false church you've been going to. That's right. Boycott them. Amen. The only way they survive is by your money. Yes. Am I right, I say? That's right. They survive by your money. That's right. Shut them down. Shut them down. When the bishop sees his drummer ain't there, huh. organ player ain't there, his assistant pastor ain't there, only three fads is left on the choir. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Cornbread is gone. Llama beans is gone. His chicken is gone. His corn on the cob is gone. Back in the 1960s in Alabama, when Martin Luther King boycotted, the bus system, because of how wicked and racist they were, mm -hmm. they had to shut them down, shut them down. which showed the bus company where 90% of their money was coming from. That's right. Look at the power that you have. Amen. Let me show it to you. Amen. If you boycott these man-made religions, the preachers will be forced to get a job and go to work. That's right. That's right. That's right. Shut him down. Shut him down. Shut him down. That's right. Let him buy his own car. That's right. Let him buy his own house. Amen. Let him buy his own clothes. Yeah. Let him buy his own food. Yeah. Shut the false prophet down. That's right. What I'm telling you is in the Bible. In the Bible. That's right.
The Apostle Paul says, Go ahead. Come out. Come out from among them. From among them. Be ye separate. And be separate. Be separate. Saith the Lord. Come on, son. First, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. And verse 17. I want to encourage the world. Amen. Boycott everything that don't believe in holiness. That's right. That's right. Boycott it. Amen. Everything. Everything. You'll find your bishop calling you. Where are you? I need my, I need my organ. Yes, he will. You don't believe in wholeness. Amen. Amen. He's getting desperate. He's getting desperate. Huh? That's right. I know the preacher's going to be hot about this. Oh, yes. But I don't care. Amen. If there's any preachers here, Amen. you don't believe in holiness. Amen. You ought to lose every member you got. That's right. That's right. You're playing with people's souls. That's right. If God say be holy, why are you teaching something else? Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, That's right. you will keep my commandment. Amen. What did he say? Wherefore, come out from among them. Stay there. Come out. No, my mama go there. Come out from among my them. My daddy is the pastor. Come out. I'm the assistant pastor. Come out. Did God say stay in or come out, brothers? Come out. Stay in. Come out. Come on, preacher. But I'm the organ player. Come out. I just got ordained. Come out. He promised me a position. Come out. He offered me big money. Come out. My girlfriend is upset. Come out. My wife won't leave. Come out. My mama is crying. Come out. My daddy is dying. Come out. Come on, Come out. Come out. But I was raised there. My father funeral was there. I make good money there. He said, what? Come out. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's right, brother. That's the book. That's the book. Hallelujah. Come out. Amen. Boy, caught him. Come out. We're calling for a universal boycott That's right. against all religion. Go ahead. All religion. Go ahead. Don't you sow seed in another television preacher's ministry. Preach it, brother. These liars. Preach it. If they want seed, let them go to a nursery at Home Depot and buy a pack of flowers. Buy a pack of them. Preach it, brother. Come Don't out. sow seed That's to right. Peter Popoff. That's right. T.D. Jakes. Amen. Fred Price. Amen. Multi-millionaire preachers. These men are so wicked, they charge you just to come preach. Yes, they will. Yes, they when will. a man truly is of God, he'll preach if you don't give him a dime. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. We preach free. Free. You ain't got to pay me nothing. That's right. You ain't got to pay me nothing to hit you. Amen. We hit you free. free. That's right. We roll on you free. Oh yeah. We break up your false church. Free. free. We knock you out of your sins. Free. That's right. We take your second wife. Free. We knock out your second husband. Free. We knock out your homosexual son. Free. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Give us the Go ahead. You ain't got to pay us. No, no. Take the beer out your hands. Free. Free. Take your cigarettes out your mouth. Free. Free. Get the whore off the street. Free. Free. Encourage you to stop gangbanging. Free. Tell you young men. Pull your pants up and stop showing your jaws like a faggot. Go ahead. We tell you that free. Go ahead. Free. 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 Ain't gotta give me a dime. Amen. Free. The Bible says come Hallelujah. without money. Without come price. without price. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes, That's right. Go ahead, brother. Give it to you free. 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 All aboard. Yeah. The truth of God train yeah. is free. Yeah. free. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't have to give a dime. Oh, no. That's free. Sometimes they pass the offering plate around. You ain't got no money. Don't feel bad. The greatest offering that you can give is you, boy. That's right. You. When you agree to give God you, you turning your back on the devil. Go ahead. I mean, look at you, man. You've been doing the same stupidity since you've been in school. That's right. Smoking reefer, smoking reefer, smoking reefer. Yeah. Smoke reefer so much your lips is black. Oh, yeah. Fingertips is burnt. Yeah. Some of you women ain't never smoked reefer until you met a man. That's right. Now you smoke reefer because they smoke it. That's right. That's now right. you drink because he drank. That's right. That's right. What shall we say? Amen. Go ahead, man. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. Wherefore, come out from among the them. The holy book says. Come out from among them. Come out. Come out. You that are watching. Amen. We're calling for an international boycott. That's now, right. I tell you what you do when this is aired. Mm -hmm. Go on internet. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the preachers. That Jennings wants somebody to boy boycott Jennings. Yes, yes, he will. <laughs> boycott that crazy man Jennings. <laughs> this stuff is too strong. Oh, yeah. When you try to hold back. You'll find your heart coming. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many of our enemies tell me what us what we're preaching every week. They lay us out, but they're right back next week. Right back. Why? Why you son of a so and so? Why you mother so and so? My Lord. Call me whatever you want, boy, but you're watching, aren't you? That's right. They're watching. When you go home tonight, they're watching. They're watching. get that bar out your house. That's right. That's right. Get that liquor out your refrigerator. Amen. Pull your pants up. Oh, yes. Be a real father to your kids. That's right. Stop having your house rotating with women. Right. Your churches don't even know who's their mama. That's right. That's true. You stop having rotating with men. Right. Children don't know who's their daddy. That's right. Amen. Pour out all your liquor. Pour it out. All your scotch. Pour it out. All your gin. Amen. Shut down your house parties. Yeah. Jack Daniels out the door. Mm. Get rid of Jack <laughs> and Daniel. <laughs> That's right. Set Jack and Daniel outside. Amen. When you get around Jack and Daniel, they make you drunk. They make you drunk. Look at you, man. You get drunk, and your own woman don't even want to let you in because she knows she's going to get kicked, slapped, beat, and cussed out. Oh, yeah. You're so drunk. Here you work, You're supposed to be taking care of your family. But instead, you'd rather spend your money up on whiskey, you'd rather leave your family home, and you go down to some strip club. Yes. Come on, I'm gonna make it rain. <laughs> That's right. Look at some crazy girl who That's thinks it. she's a fireman. My oh, Lord. Sliding up and I mean, I don't get it. Here I don't work hard. Get a check for eight, nine hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. Or two hundred dollars. Or a dollar. <laughs> I work for it. Work for it. And I'm going to go down to some strip club just to see a bunch of naked chicks <laughs> shake their behind, move their chest around, do a lap dance, and they ain't got enough money to catch a cab. That's right. How did I get so emotionally and mentally weak? that a woman can shake her butt and make me broke. 
Amen. Is that plain? That's plain. That's plain. You men that are watching it. Amen. You in debt because you can't pass up a shaking booty. Make it plain. Go ahead, man. Make it plain. That's right. You can't pay your bills because you can't pass up somebody shaking behind. Amen. You can't pay your mortgage because you can't pass up a shaking booty. You can't pay your car note. Your baby need milk, but a woman's behind to you carry more weight than a child's gut. Talk to me. You, do, you won't find this preaching in nobody's church. We touch everything. Why do we touch everything? Because the, hu the human family is involved in everything. Got to tell you everything. That's right. Go ahead. Some of you in here, some of you in here still go to them clubs. Some of you that are watching, you still go to them clubs. Some of you women that are watching are performers at these clubs. I know because some of you wrote me. Right. I have had women that wrote me and told me in their letter that they are striptease. And some of them get together with women and watch us every Sunday night. Shaking and watching. Shaking and watching. Coming down the pole quickly. You, you want to see Pastor Jenner? Yeah, you better hurry up. <laughs> Come on, coming on down the, coming down the back pole. That's right. That's right. That's right. My Lord. Amen. This message, this good old fashioned stuff. Amen. It cleans you up. Yeah. It getting, there's no teaching under the sun that can show you you like God can. And some of you get upset with me because you see yourself. It's a mirror. Yes. And you don't like what you see because the picture is ugly. That's right. Holy, holiness stripped that ankle chain off of you. It teaches you if you're not a whole, what you're wearing a label is one for. Love the way God made you. You don't need lipstick. You don't need somebody else's hair. That's right. Somebody else's plaits. That's right. You don't need a weave in. Weave. You're too unbelievable. That's right. Holy Ghost teach you to love you. Love you. You don't need to go to CVS and Walgreens and buy some artificial nails. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? You have become so subduced, so tricked, so calm so bamboozled by the media until the media made you hate yourself. You hate the shape of your lips. You hate the shape of your nose. And you hate the texture of your hair. That's right. And then you got a belt wrapped around below your knees. That's right. That's it. And you're reaching your pocket to get changed. That's right. And you women, I don't understand how is it you got a sense of pride. Your man shows his draws to men. Amen. You sure you got a man Amen. or someone on a down low? That's right. Because a real man don't want another man to see his butt. That's right. That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Hoorah! 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 I mean, think of it. You and your balls hanging out on the corner. Everybody butt showing. Woman, this is your husband. 
this is your fiance who showed his butt to men. You walking around like a male tramp. That's right. How would you feel if your wife or your fiance show her panties? Go ahead. Pull her dress up and walk out on the street. That's it. That's right. Go ahead, you wouldn't brother. like it, would you? Right away you would say, well, you, you must be a hoe. What's the matter with you? Well, if you call her a hoe for doing it, I'm calling you a whoremonger for doing it. That's right. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Amen. And some of you cats is in your 30s, yeah. 40s, and 50s. Showing your drawers. What has happened to our men? Some have gone wrong. All this madness in the world. You don't find T.D. Jakes them speaking against this. He is walking around. You see the homosexual epidemic that is killing our young men. A time has come, who would ever thought that grown men now will get pleasure showing your shorts, man? Amen. You better watch me. Why? Why do you do it? Write me a legitimate, justifiable letter why you walk around showing your drawers. Where is the intelligent act? Hey, you, mama, why don't bother you? Your son showing his behind. Yeah. Why? Hey, dad, why don't bother you? that you and your son walk in the street. Daddy's butt, son butt. Everybody got a butt butt. Old McButt had a farm. Go ahead, brother. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? And these claim they Christians. Yeah. Who thought a day would come that a grown man will be proud about displaying his behind? Amen. Use a male tramp. Yeah. That is a tramp. Pull your pants up and stop advertising free booty. That's right. Pull your pants up. That's right. Pull them up. Pull them up. What's the matter with you? Amen. We were so weak. The moment the devil put out a style, a fad. Amen. That make us look like uncivilized animals. Fashion of the heathen. Do you hear? Fashion of the heathen. In the book of 2 Maccabees chapter 4. Says what? And at verse 9. Beside this, he promised to assign 150 more, if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise right. and for the training up of, of, of youth in the fashion of the heathen. The training of the youth. Training up of you in the fashion of the heathen. Of the heathen. Amen. Look at the fashion. Yeah. Pants hanging down. So-called Christian men doing it. Mm -hmm. Go to a Christian concert. Some mm -hmm. man come out, no shirt on, chains all over his place, pants hanging down here, and all the Christians. Christian. And you know what the so-called Christians say? It don't matter how you look. You see, God ain't looking at your outward. It's the hard work count. You liar. That's a lie. When God truly saved you, he get the whole person. He get that heart, and then that body fall in place. That's right. He fix you up within and straighten you up without. That's right. 
the whole person. The, whole person. the Bible says, offer up your body Bodies. as a living sacrifice. The whole thing. That's right. He want all, every part of it. Amen. He wants your eyes. Amen. So you don't have to, you don't need eyeline shadow. You don't need no eyelash sticker. You should not be able to go in your closet and take out a little box with eyelashes. <laughs> That's right. And God gave you some. Yeah. We love fake stuff. Oh yeah. Never satisfied. You're never satisfied. Not satisfied. You put horse hairs over your eyes so they can wave at men. Yes. <laughs> well, Pastor Jennings, my man love it. Okay, suppose something happened to you and you can't wear this stuff now. Then what? Then what? Love yourself. You don't need crayons. Love yourself. Stop looking for a man to love you by your figure and see can he love you by your mind. Yes. If there's something up there. Oh, yes. Amen. Pastor Jennings, I know he loves me because, you know, he make love to me. He, it's just something I feel. Really? What do you feel? Do you feel? My young sisters, let's have a down to earth chat. Everybody all right? Yeah. I know it's getting late, but come back tomorrow because you party longer than this. Yes, you do. You party till the sun come up. That's right. That's right. That's right. Dancing and tired. Take a break from dancing and lean all on the wall breathing. Amen. And still shaking. Too tired to get back on the floor. Yeah. You lean against the wall. Oh, yeah. Then when a song come out that you really like, a devil hits you. A devil. You're back out there again, tired, worn out. Man, give me a drink. You're asking for a drink, and you still got some part of your body going to the music. Hey, man, give me a drink. Give me just drink it. And you're still bobbing your head. See your friend, yo, Bill, what's up? It ain't nothing happening, what's up? It ain't nothing going, you're still going. Tired. Still going. Still going. Where you get that energy from? The devil. The devil. devil give you energy. Yes, he will. The devil make you mad at the truth because the devil don't want you to obey it. That's right. Because when you obey it, the devil is losing a disciple. That's right. Driven on by, driven on by the devil. On. We want the devil to lose disciples. Lose disciples. And let's start following Jesus. Jesus disciples. That's right. That's why it's no subject we are afraid to deal with. That's right. We deal with everything. Amen. Everything. Everything. Amen. Amen. And that's why so many people's drawn to it. They are saying, I don't agree with everything you said, but I ain't never heard no crazy cat like him. <laughs> they drawn to it. Oh yes. There's a lot of young men would do better if somebody took the time out to show them. That's right. There's a lot of women would do better if someone took the time out to teach them. That's right. This is your opportunity to do better. Amen. Give me a few more verses so I can quit. Back in Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Yeah. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy. God said put a difference between holy and unholy and unholy and between unclean unclean and clean all right you that are here repent That's it. it's time now to get it's time for some changes now time. you done gave the devil all this time smoking drinking some of you got cigarettes in your pocketbook in your back pocket in your car you got a bar in your house that's right what are you gonna do now I didn't, I know you're telling the truth, dog. You know, I, I love to watch you on TV, man. Ain't that enough? No. No. That's right. That's you right. You got to give your life to God now. Yeah. Amen. Don't be hearers of the word. 
When you get in trouble, you don't be praying to the devil. You call on God, don't you? Call on God. You be out there dancing and partying. I don't see you praying to the devil. Lucifer, help me. <laughs> no. You call on God. That's right. You get some little prayer book from a 10 cent store. That's right. And Lucifer name not even there. Amen. Why? The devil know. He can't help you, he but God you. can. Amen. Oh, oh yes. yes. Everything that's watching around the world live tonight. Amen. That's right. I don't care the color of your skin mm -hmm. or your nationality. You must repent of good. your sins. Amen. You must be sorry about your sins. Yes. And be baptized. Be baptized. Amen. And water Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. For what? They get your sins washed away. You was born with one sin. That's the sin you inherited from Adam. And then when you learned right from wrong and you chose wrong over right, you became a sinner. That's why you live like the devil. That's right. Because you're a sinner. That's right. You gotta repent of all your sins. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Not be sprinkled, not bow your head, not raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal savior. That's not right. pray a sinner's prayer. None of that religious trash, trash. is in the Bible. That's man-made trash Amen. and I want you to boycott it. Amen. Amen. It's time now to get on God's side. Get on God's side. Am I right, I said? Amen. Anybody here want to obey God? and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Anybody, Anybody want to get yourself right with God? One, two, three, four, come on. Five, six, come on. It's time to get right now. It's time. See that young man right there waving his hands? All of you, go where he is. Amen. Brother Harris, go follow. Get yourself ready for baptism. Everybody got to be born again. Everybody. If anybody in here bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't saved. No. Haven't you recognized that position? You're being robbed. That's right. You're being held up. Held up. There ain't no salvation coming through your arms raised and your neck dropped. No. You got baptized at a Catholic church by an upright toilet. Mm -hmm. That's right. You haven't even got started. That's right. That's right. You got to do it on God's terms. That's right. God say, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that don't believe it, God says, shall be down. Brother, you tough, you're from the hood, you hang the streets. Tell me, regardless of how bad you are, do you want to go to hell? Hmm. Well, Pat, I don't believe there's no hell. The Jehovah Witness said there is no hell. Years ago, when I was still living home with my mother, you know the Jehovah Witness come by your house. And there was one that I ended up knowing, his name was Victor. And every time Victor would talk to me about the Bible, I would tie him up until he just stopped talking to me about the Bible. He just say, it's a good day today, ain't it, Gino? <laughs> so one day he came by my house. He said, Gino, you know, it's really no hell, man. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, so you're not afraid of fire? He said, listen, the Lord is too loving to put you in hell. That same Lord destroyed the world while with water in Noah's day. The same Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with fire. I said, so you're not afraid of fire? He said, no, man. I said, Vic, come here. I said, ain't no hell. He said, no, man. He said, come on back to my mother's kitchen. <laughs> you know, them stoves, when you turn a 
pilot light on, that part that's electric, hit, click, tick, 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 before the flame come. I said, give me your hand, Vicky. He said, what you get ready to do? I wasn't really going to put it in there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he ain't scared of no fire. I wanted to test it. <laughs> so I grabbed his hand real aggressive, like I was really going to put it in there. And I had this thing going, click, click, click. He said, what you doing, Gino? I said, you ain't afraid of no fire. He started pulling back. I said, give me your hand. He said, no. <laughs> he knows. I turned the stove off and say, uh-huh. You scared of hell, boy. <laughs> Hell is for real. It ain't like what you see on television. The Lord says, where they shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever, without ceasing. Hell is called a bottomless pit. No bottom. The scripture says they shall be cast into outer darkness. You will never see no light. Not even your hands in front of you. Hell is bottomless, so when you fall, you never cease from falling. If you fall a million years, you just beginning. Your flesh that you now have, God will design it where it never will burn up. And it will have all the feelings that it has right now. God says, I made hell to get even with man. He made hell to get even with man. Because when you disobey God and reject God, and God give you chance after chance to repent of your sins and be baptized and seek the Holy Ghost and walk up the truth, he give you chance after chance. That's why you're still alive after you got shot. That's right. That's why you're still breathing after you got stabbed. That's why you're still living after you OD'd. God's still giving you chance. The fact Jennings ain't ready yet. Isn't it amazing? When it come to God, you ain't ready. But when it come to act a fool, you ain't got to think twice. That's true. When a man fear God, he'll change his ways. When a woman fear God, you will change your ways. That's right. Come back tomorrow, brothers and sisters. 11.30 in the morning. Don't go to your church. Boycott it. You ain't going to miss nothing, no way, but a bunch of lies. Amen. Boycott it, I say. Boycott it. Well, Pastor Jennings, I'm the pastor. Boycott your pulpit. That's right. I'm talking to you, too. In fact, come walk with holiness. That's right. If you really appreciate and believe in the same God, you should not have no problem and wanting to be holy. That's right. And you should want to teach your people the same thing, how to be holy, how to please God. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now, we thank God for all of you. God gave us all something good tonight. Amen. Baptism is still going on. If there's anybody want to be baptized still, it's not too late. You can get it tonight. You can get it tomorrow. Let the word of God come clean you up and straighten you out. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Come back and fill your tank up some more tomorrow morning with lead free truth <laughs> let us all stand and brother minister james from newport news will close us out with prayer Now to him able to keep us from falling, present us falling from the presence of glory, seated in joy to the only wise God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Power and dominion unto him now and forevermore. Let all the people say amen. amen.